the uh, smashes which are legal, not for the fit. Heel of the hand with the elbow is all right. And Jack McDonald has a question or two about just what you do. Nobody seems interested in a handshake here. Neither the Baron nor McDonald cared to proffer a hand. So it looks like there's going to be no love lost in this one. There goes the main event as the bell sounds. Well, there's the referee's hole right off the bat. McDonald takes a forward quarter, Nelson. The strong man from the Pacific Northwest bears down on it. Whoa, look out the Baron in there with the fist. Gets a warning immediately from referee Smokey Joe Wood. Doesn't like that a bit. Block on the champion. That's the heel of the hand that time. <laughs> Look how McDonald wound up like he was going to fire one all the way from left field. Forward quarter Nelson and McDonald use it for a takedown. The first of the main event match here tonight. Down with the wrist block. Gets up to his feet, but not out of the hold. McDonald is trying again for a takedown. They're off balance the ropes. The Baron forces McDonald to the rope. That'll get him out. Then the forearm smashes back with the heel of the hand. Comes McDonald. Much to the Baron's surprise. He did not expect that. Uh, side headlock. Headlock, takedown. The Baron keeps the side headlock. Baron Leone, the Pacific Coast and California heavyweight wrestling champion, keeping his side headlock here. Paul McDonald turns the Baron onto his shoulders. Baron is rolling into the ropes and still keeping his hold. However, they'll have to break now. Let's see what the break is like. Look out, McDonald drew a foot way back there to kick, but got it stopped. He's warned about that. Take down, a leg snatch. McDonald with a hold. now to a cross leg toe hold here. The Baron with a somewhat ineffectual side headlock. Baron allowing himself to be turned onto his own shoulders there, trying to get McDonald in a pin position without any luck at all. Now he may have his mother hold. At least he's got enough. He forced McDonald to break, and the Baron comes up with a very punishing face lock. That arm right across the nose and the mouth. And McDonald uh, begins to indicate the pressure is hurting here a little bit. out of this one. Body scissors by McDonald. McDonald keeps his hold. And the man at the moment can't do much to get out of it. Back he goes. However, he can easily get the shoulders up. He took a one count there before he started to move. scissors comes up with a leg lock. McDonald right back, taking control of the situation. Works on the Baron's left arm. Wow, he wound up a fist there and changed his mind about using it. Now it comes down with a forearm smash across the forehead just to discourage the Baron.
tips on a hand that begins to grow a little pale in color here from the pressure of a wrist lock. Offer of submission made and declined. Tap there in the forehead again of McDonald. And again, these are forearm smashes. They're okay. Left hand, which McDonald is working on here, is getting very pale in color now, almost white. Aaron gets out of it, but not into any hold of his own, as you saw McDonald kick himself out of trouble. Leg trip right out. McDonald may have miscued here. I thought he was going to be in real trouble. Looks like the Baron would be right on top of him for a pin, but such is not the case. And the Baron doesn't yet have his scissors, but they're in the ropes, so they're breaking. Look out. The Baron got the hold a little too fast. Oh, the count starts. If it goes to five, the Baron would be disqualified. Now he starts it legally and stomps on the face. Look out. Right down on the eye and the cheek there. Now come his famous knee drops on the sockeye Jack McDonald. One of the Baron's favorite forms of attack. He tries to soften up opponent for his famous neck breaker. And that's what he's trying to put on now. He's got to get McDonald onto his feet and turned around so that they're back to back. Then he can put on that neck breaker. And it usually gives him a fall right then and there. Here he is trying to turn his opponent. McDonald trying to get to the rope. And hooking a foot over there, he gets himself out of trouble. Baron is infuriated here because he failed to get that fall. He thought he had it coming. Baron gets punishing again, once again with smashes, now with knee drops. Now once more, it looks like he's trying for that neck breaker, but they're close to the ropes, and McDonald may be able to work his way out of it again. Baron trying to turn him. McDonald grabs the ropes, and again, pulls himself out of trouble, but can't pull himself away from the Baron. The count went to four, almost to five. One minute to go here, and the time for our first fall. Our first round, Australian style. Baron once again, knee drops. Here they come. More of those again. McDonald in trouble. Now the Baron will have to hurry if he wants to get a fall out of this. He's trying once again to put on his famous neck breaker. And let's see if he's going to be able to turn him McDonald again. Close to the ropes. Maybe able to get himself out of trouble. No, the Baron has him in position, but look out. McDonald does work himself into the ropes. Bad shape. I'm running out. The Baron hurrying here. There's the Baron once again with only seconds remaining. Turning McDonald into that neck breaker. Lifting him up there. Let's see if there's a submission. McDonald is reaching for the ropes to get himself out of it. Gets it and is on the ropes. They'll have to break and simultaneously the bell sounds to end the first round without a fall going to either man. The Baron raises his hand, but of course that is uh, not any indication that he's been awarded a fall. McDonald is in a lot of trouble and a lot of pain. And he'll need the three-minute rest period here to get himself back in shape to come out for the second round of this main event at the Hollywood Legion Stadium. So far, at the moment, of course, we're all even up here. Nobody has a fall. But believe me, anything can happen on championship wrestling from the Legion Stadium. The whistle sounds, and the Baron rushes over here before the bell even rang. McDonald is pretty well recovered, and I think we're going to go right ahead. They're ringing the bell to make it official now. The match is underway into the second fall, and we might have a very quick fall here. Wait a minute. Up came a fist that spoiled the Baron's plans to try to pin McDonald. A couple of wild men in the ring here. No fall the first time, and the Baron is going to try that neck breaker again, I'm sure. As he slams there with rabbit punches, here come the knee drops. Yes, indeed, the tactics look identical with the first round of action. And look at the Baron keep up that softening up process. Now he's going to try for the neck breaker. He may get it all of a sudden here. McDonald moves to the ropes, though. Once again, he saves himself. McDonald in bad shape. He started well, but the Baron quickly bore him down with that series of slams with the fist. Knee drops to the back of the neck. Wait a minute. Donald trying, but without much success. Here's that knee drop again, coming time after time after time. And the Baron once more trying for his famous neck breaker. This could be the first fall of the match coming up right now. He's got McDonald in position. I think there's a submission right here. Yes, indeed, there is. The Baron ends the second round 
very quickly with the first fall of the match. Well, we'll have uh, the time on that, and it's going to be quick, believe you me. McDonald in trouble. And again, slowly getting up off the canvas. Let's get Jules Strombo's official announcement of the time, because it must have been a very fast fall. In the time of one minute and 11 seconds for the next breaker, Baron Michel Leone takes the first fall in the second round. So the Baron moves out in front a little bit here for the first ball and gets some heckling from the ringsiders. And they don't seem to be particularly happy with his tactics. I notice that Joe Strombo is trying to calm him down a little bit in there, talking to him and telling him to be calm. But the Baron, as wild as he always looks in one of these wrestling uh, matches in which he appears, the only time he has been defeated out here in the Pacific Coast was, of course, in the great match with Luthez that cleared up the World's Championship once and for all. The Baron doesn't like defeat at any time. Well, the excitement and the thrills continue on live wrestling. There's never a dull moment during these rugged events, believe you me. <laughs> goes the third round of our main event tonight. Baron Michelle Leone and Sockeye Jack McDonald. The Baron having taken the first ball, and Sockeye Jack looks like he wants to get the second one. Don't blame him. Jack McDonald pounding away at the small of the back, and the Baron is complaining, but those are legal forearm smashes, and the Baron's being told just exactly that. The Baron takes forward quarter Nelson. Donald tried one weak slam there at the back. Let's see if he's going to try to do any more of it or not. Look out. for leg snatch and no luck got a forearm smash right in the face and he's hurt by it Donald wound up with what looked like a fist that time here's the leg snatch by Baron Leone comes up with a leg lock Baron may move now to a Hackenschmidt he moves up to a toehold and the Baron shouts to the referee, watch the shoulders. He says what he sounded like, he said. Because McDonald uh, tried to spoil things a little bit. The Baron is changing now to a reverse cross leg toe. It's a straight cross leg toe hold here as he bears down and uh, the offer of submission already made. McDonald is declining up to now as the Baron bears down and McDonald tries to work his way to the ropes to get himself out of trouble here once again. Trying to grab the canvas, tried anything, nothing works. He's still caught tight in the hole. Go. Here comes McDonald. This time, I think, yes, he is going to make it. Gets his head under the ropes, and they have to rake. And the Baron punishes the right leg just a little bit there. Sockeye Jack McDonald as he works on the Baron. He's lifting him up there with the bow and arrow treatment on the ropes. And all of a sudden, back comes the Baron, and look at the hip roll he walked into there. Sockeye McDonald goes to work on the Baron's left arm. on the Baron's left arm. Loses that as the Baron moves in on the face. The ball that uh, Joe Wood does not like. Mother Hall and he's ordering a free. Count went to three again before the Baron broke. If it's gone to five, of course, he would have been disqualified. Walks right into a knee. Comes back with his own, and it's going to be rough here for the moment. 
Here come the smashes. Look at those crushing polo punches from by McDonald. That corner smash. And drops the grabs leg and takes down McDonald. Comes up again here with the leg lock. himself out of it is in danger of being taken right into a Hackenschmidt if the Baron wants to do it. He apparently prefers to keep this leg locked. Now he's moving to his Hackenschmidt. Here it is, the standing toe hold. The Baron just bears down on the leg, doesn't twist the foot either one way or the other up till now. Joe Wood thought there was going to be a submission right then and there, but there was not. Look out! That changed things. And here is McDonald. Coming in there with those slamming punches, the hip roller take down, the Baron with the side headlock loses it. Takes it again and really takes McDonald down this time, but again loses the hold. McDonald walks into it again, and the Baron caught right in the back. McDonald lifts for a body slam. A backbreaker it is. Then dumps the Baron unceremoniously in the canvas for two, four, three, and a fall to piece. caught with a tackle in the back and then a backbreaker and that was too much for him and sockeye jack mcdonald here has pinned for the fall that makes it all even let's hear in from the jules time of five minutes 23 seconds with a backbreaker in the body press sockeye mcdonald takes the second fall in the third round that's it for the main event up to now a fall apiece we still have the fourth, the final round to go under Australian-style wrestling that we have here in these main events at the Hollywood Legion Stadium. Plenty of time for either man to get himself a fall. And, of course, with that, take the match. So let's see whether the Baron or whether Sockeye Jack McDonald is going to be able to do it or not. Well, yes, indeed. Every night that you watch wrestling from the Hollywood Legion Stadium, you're sure of more thrills and excitement with these live wrestlers as they're presented from the American Legion Stadium in Hollywood. That warns the seconds away from the ring, and the bell sounds to send us into the final round. Jack McDonald with a double leg snatch starts it off. He's trying to turn the Baron, but he can't. Oh, wait a minute, we're going to roll the boat here. Or are we? A fall apiece, and almost all of the time of the final round left. Play of opportunity for one or the other to get a ball. Which, of course, will give him the match. Baron is trying to get away from these double arm locks. Oh, so the one to throw punches. McDonald seems to be willing. Yes, indeed. That's the Baron. Here's the same way he just got the ball a little while ago. Tries that back breaker. This would be a big surprise if McDonald, the underdog, were to come through with a win here. The Baron gets through the ropes to get himself out of trouble. takes over a little bit in the situation here with the side headlock. Taking down with the hip roll. Head scissors. And a nice counter move by McDonald. scissors got the arms there where you can use them for some leverage on the Baron the Baron is having trouble getting out of the hole that did it a little slam to the back Baron trying again can't get himself out of the head scissors Baron's in real trouble here to keep that softened up, of course, because that's the way he got the ball that evened up the match and a fall apiece. Up comes the Baron. Let's see if he can get out of the position. No, he gets a little pile driver. Stays right.
right caught tight in that head scissors. Rockeye McDonald still keeping control of the situation here. He's not going to take that way out. He's going to try to work his way out of these series, this series of head scissors. Donald keeps working on that back. that back, keeping that head scissors all the while and wearing the Baron down here. Yeah. Baron finally got over. That somersault he was trying to do and got a one count on McDonald, but here he is right back in trouble again. Watch him try once more. Can't get out of it. Keeps trying. Still can't slip the head scissors. Turns now. And has got himself in position where he can put McDonald's shoulders to the canvas. To one count, that's all. McDonald gets the left shoulder up and out of trouble. McDonald finally has to break it to get himself out of trouble, and the Baron comes up with a leg lock. Inviting himself back into a scissors. Instead comes up with a cross leg toe hold. Now it's a leg lock. And McDonald is in trouble, and the sock guy is trying to get to the ropes and get himself away with it. Look out, the Baron is trying to line him up to toss him head first into the turnbuckle. You notice how he looks over his shoulders there. He wants to be sure he has him aimed correctly. down, comes topside. Baron Michelle Leone on top air. Look out! McDonald gnawing on the Baron's right hand. I thought the price of steak was coming down, but Jack McDonald couldn't resist the temptation to take a bite there. And the ropes goes the Baron, gets it in the back. Taken down with a hip roll, and Jack McDonald with a side headlock. Keeps him down there for a one, a two, but not a three, as the Baron brought the right shoulder up. Jack Sockeye McDonald with the side headlock. Holds the rope, comes back from the middle of those vicious tackles of his. Wait a minute, McDonald fell, hurt himself. The Baron is on top, but McDonald has enough sense left to creep under the ropes and get out of trouble. <laughs> Another mayor snapped by the Baron. And he has the advantage for the moment, but time is running out. I believe we have just three minutes remaining in this final round. So if they're going to get the fall, either man that gets it, of course, would win the match automatically right then and there. Somebody's going to have to hurry. Sockeye yeah. Jagman down on the top headlock. Knee lifts right into the Baron's face. Ouch. Yeah. Baron checking nose, teeth, lips, everything to see if anything's cut or missing. Look at that. As McDonald forces the Baron into a somersault. Now moves up. Face locks. The referee's checking to see if it's a smother hole, but McDonald is under the ropes, and they have to break once again. Two minutes remaining. McDonald hurries out through the ropes again as he gets a rabbit punch. Here's a mayor snap.
snap of the Baron. Now he comes up with a face lock. Face lock finally gets uh, McDonald down and stomps a glancing blow that time. McDonald trying to punch him away, gets the Baron to his knees. One minute left, one minute to go. running out here. Jack Sockeye McDonald with a very punishing arm lock and the offer submission is being made. Referee Smokey Joe Wood asks the Baron if he wants to give. The Baron says no, not yet. McDonald continues to bear down as the seconds tick away here in our main event at the Hollywood Legion Stadium. Where every week, of course, we bring you the greatest in these live wrestling telecasts. trying to move, trying to get away. McDonald just keeps bearing down on the arm. Time about gone here. And McDonald wants the referee to ask once again to see if the Baron is ready to submit. McDonald says, make him give up. Well, the Baron in no mood to do it. Finally comes up topside. There's that cheering sound once again. And the Baron trying for his neck breaker. But McDonald got to the ropes. Got away from it. They're standing in the ropes as the bell sounds to end the fourth and final round. Now let's see if the referee can keep them apart. Well, it was a fall of peace. He's going to call the match a draw. The Baron is very unhappy about the whole thing here. Expected more than that, I think. Disappointed that this newcomer to him, though a veteran wrestler, Jack Sockeye McDonald, should get a draw. At the end of four rounds, both men having scored one fall, your referee's decision, a draw. That's it. The main event tonight, the Hollywood Legion Stadium goes as a draw.